Hello everyone, my name is Steve. Welcome back to my workshop and today it is Independence Day here in the United States and so I've got the day off from work. I'm in the workshop just kind of relaxing with some fun projects and I had someone recently ask me if I had done any 3D style engravings and I haven't done a whole lot of that but thought today what a better day than to play around with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a file off the internet and we are going to put it through one of the lasers we're going to see how that does, and um, if that interests you, um, stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. So real quickly, the 3D engravings, while really they are is a manipulation of shading through photorealistic art or photographs that give it a 3D effect. Now, it uh, then is through the raster image manipulation on your laser, will replicate that into your material. So a couple of things you need to know about this is you do want to have a very clean surface wood. So I'm using some craft grade plywood. It has a very clean surface. There is a little bit of grain in here and that may uh, give us a, some effect into our image one later, but this is just part of the trial process. So um, first off, we're going to go jump online. We're going to hit up Etsy, probably go buy one of these files from someone, and then we'll jump into setting up on the laser. So let's get at it. So the 3D effect is made through this 3D illusion and it basically comes from shading. And so there are a lot of pre-made ones that you can find if you just search for out on Etsy. And being that it is currently the 4th of July here, which is a Independence Day here in the United States, I thought why not uh, go ahead and support a creator and grab one. So I went ahead and grabbed this one up in the upper right corner, this eagle with the flag, I thought it looked pretty cool. And so I went ahead and did that and downloaded it. And I like to do this on time to time, um, paying someone a few dollars for their work uh, to let me play around is well worth it. All right, so we're in Lightburn. I've brought in the file, as you can see here, it is our eagle with the flag background and it is showing up as a grayscale image. Uh, the other thing that this seller did offer with it was the outline so i believe that's this file here we'll bring that in and uh let's uh make that not a fill but a line and so now we have the outline in back and this one we'll need to size that correctly uh, but what i'm going to focus on first is let's actually just hide that for now we're going to focus on this image now, if you've purchased this from a seller, they're going to hopefully have it shaded fairly decently, so you mostly just need to input your, your settings. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the image, and I'm going to change first the mode from grayscale, and I'm going to go with Jarvis. I would like to make sure that my line interval matches the beam width of the laser, so most of them with diodes are going to be from 0.1 to 0 0.8. We're going to leave it at 0.8. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave all of these alone. Now, if you feel you need to adjust them, uh, sometimes adding some contrast can help bring out some of the details, but um, that is something you'll need to play with your material and your laser. They're all slightly different. So now that we have that set, we're looking good. I do also then want to come in here. We're going to adjust our speed and power. So I'm going to be using the Acer L2, 36 watts, so we can actually run this a little bit quicker. We're going to go up to 15,000. We're going to leave the max power at 100%. Um, but then I'm also going to just adjust the scan angle to about 15 degrees, 10 to 15 degrees. I'm going to go about 10 on this one. Now that will probably slow us down a little bit uh, because it's going to be moving in both axes, but it helps to prevent some of the banding you might get from running in just one axis alone. So um, it, again, that's something you'll need to play around with your laser. Other than that, we're looking good. We have uh, our, uh, oh, I'm also going to turn on over scanning. I like to have that at 2.5 to 3%, especially this running a little faster. I'm gonna bump it up just a bit, just to allow our acceleration and deceleration. So with that all set, uh, then I will go ahead, I'll get the outline set up. We'll put that on a line and we'll send it to the laser and see how it looks.
All right, so that finished up and it actually turned out fairly well. Now you will see over on this side, we do have a couple of lines and that is strictly from the grain of the wood. You can kind of see the inverse on this side as well of where that grain's going up and down. So uh, in hindsight, maybe running it side to side would have been a little bit better. I mean, running it, rotating the wood, so the grain is running with the engraving a little bit more, would help hide that a little bit. And uh, I may try running it again, um, but the trick with these is definitely to be using as clear as possible wood as you can for its size. So if you can get a large piece of basswood or poplar that is like this, that's great. Otherwise, find some very clear craft plywood that's gonna be your best bet. Now, this is finished as far as the engraving and cut. It came out really well, and it has a very interesting 3D effect to it. So that all worked out well. Um, last thing is to do is to hang it, and I am going to go ahead and laser cut a quick hanger. We can glue it onto the back, and we can hang this up on the wall. All right, I have our two hanger parts cut out and uh, we have our piece here. So first thing I'm gonna do is get these glued together. I'm gonna be using some Starbond CA, just some thick. And uh, all I gotta do is put a little bit on this piece so that that is covered. And then we will take our accelerator, hit that really quick. And we can just simply line these up and let that cure really quick. Now I'm going to take the back of the piece and I am going to roughly find my center points. We're about nine inches wide, so I'm looking at about four and a half. Doesn't need to be too exact, just eyeballing it. And then we're going to put this roughly in the middle, so we're going to do the same thing. A little bit of glue, a little accelerator, eyeball it level, press and hold. All right, so there you have it. We did our 3D engraving and came out really well. We even put a little hanger on the back. So I'm gonna be finding a place to hang this up in my workshop or my office as just a nice example of what we can do and a pretty cool photo to boot. So. I'll have links down below to where I purchased this file, some of the materials I used, the laser I used, all that stuff is down there. Some of them will be affiliate links and that does go to help me out a bit. So if you use them, I appreciate it, but as always, no pressure. Once again, I hope if you're in the US or other and you're celebrating the 4th of July, our Independence Day, that you've had a, a good, safe holiday. And I hope that whether today or tomorrow, you can get out into your workshop and make something too. We'll catch you next time.